What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome back to an FM19 video and today I am really really excited to showcase and bring to you my FM19 skin. Yes, this is the skin I'm going to be using for this year. Uh, it is a skin that I did with Tom, also known as Blues Till I Die. He created the base TCS skin. I asked for a number of changes uh, to make things better for, the, for video content creation. He put in all the hard work though and I think the result is absolutely outstanding. So today I'm going to show you how to install it, uh, talk about the graphics that are involved in getting this working, you know, logo packs, stadium packs, trophy packs and such. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are going to enjoy it. If you do, you know, leave a like on it. Hopefully this is going to help everyone. If you just want to get the skin, great. If you want to know how to install it, great. If you just want to see what it maybe looks like, fantastic. Anyway, to start with, we need to go through the install instructions for this. Down in the description, there is going to be a link to a uh, web page where you can download this. And uh, if you click on the download, you will get this file here. Now, this is a zip file. Within here are three different skins. Uh, right now, I have got it in my Football Manager skins folder within my documents uh, this location may be slightly different on, on your pc of course it'll have your username here and if the skins folder doesn't exist within football manager 2019 you can just type it out create one all you're going to do is you're going to take this file and extract it using 7-zip or in my case i'm going to use winrar and uh, you will see you now have three folders so within here we have the base skin this has a dark background we have aero which is the exact same skin with a semi-transparent background and then and as I said, we have the Work the Space Edition. This is a little bit more purple. And the other thing that it has going for it is the fact that it's designed for YouTube content creation. Uh, the panels are designed to show things just a little bit bigger across the board. So if you're a YouTuber, probably the skin you're going to want to have. So anyway, when you've got all three of these here, that is all you need to do. You can delete this file. And to get it in-game, all you're going to do is go to Football Manager, Preferences, go to Interface... And then the interface tab here. Make sure that using caching to decrease page loading times is unticked. And then from this drop down, you're just going to select the skin you want. So I think to start with, we'll show off my version of the skin because it's the version that I'm going to be using the most. Uh, after that, we'll go through the other few versions. Uh, another thing, because people are going to ask for my skin colors, just you can pause the video and have a look. Um, I use the yellow, the, uh, the blue, and then two grays. And, uh, well, let's take a look at this skin, shall we? Because I'm, I'm really excited by it. So the first thing is the home screen here. Nothing too radical going on. Nothing massive in the way of changes. Obviously, at the start of the video, you saw the club overview page. The big objective with this skin, um, you know, as far as Tom was concerned with making it, and as far as I was concerned when then asking him for some amends, was keep it as close to vanilla as possible, but just, you know, improve the quality of it where possible, uh, just across the board. You know, keep it simple, keep it you know, familiar, but at the same time, keep it a little bit different. Um, there are also some changes to the actual in-game match panels as well, which I'll try and remember to put a screenshot of now. Anyway, this is the main screen. In terms of the graphics that we're using, I have the SS kits from FM Base. I have the Trophy Mega Pack from FM Scout, the Stadium Mega Pack from FM Scout, and I'm using the Sort It Out SI uh, Cutout Mega Pack for my faces. I'll have links to all of those down below. I'm not going to cover installing those today um, there's loads of guides already covering how to install various graphic elements um, I'm sure you guys can find them anyway in terms of other screens I guess we should look at the player profile screen so again the big objective here as far as I was concerned lay things out in a nice clean way so we've got a new font uh, we've got the pros and cons shown on this page which I think is a really really nice touch uh, another thing worth noting is that this is fully customizable so if you don't like how the panels are set up, you know, you can change stuff here. You can really mix things around to get something that properly suits your needs. Obviously, for videos, I have to have slightly different needs in terms of what I want to show uh, and stuff. And so as a result, I like to have the attribute polygon fairly big. In terms of other screens we've got going on, the fixture screen has some minor changes. If we go to the fixture screen, that is, uh, you can see it's all locked to the left. The panel is completely adjustable. Uh, this gives you plenty of room to show the goal scorers off to the right and insert more kind of columns if you need to, um, which you can, of course, do just by inserting here. And you could have attendances, for example, which would fit just a little bit more easily, I guess, into the grand scheme of things, because sometimes you don't have space to have this with the default skin. In terms of other screens, there aren't too many that have seen radical overhauls. 
as I said, the main ones really are the screens that you look at the most. If we look at the England national team page, nothing too crazy going on here. Of course, the new font is implemented across the board. Uh, I didn't mention the logo pack. This is obviously not the default logo pack, as you can see by what we've got in front of us here uh, with the Premier League logos. Uh, this is the TCM19 uh, pack. I'll have a link, obviously, to that down below as well. Uh, and uh, yeah, all in all, I just, I absolutely love this skin, you know, it's not loads of massive changes, but I feel like it's changes to the screens you see the most, and I feel like that is often what kind of you want in a skin. As you can see, you've got the last starting 11 here, which is a really, really nice panel. Uh, one thing I didn't talk about on the player screen is, uh, you've got form for the last 20 matches if you want it, form for the last 5 matches. There are a few other options here, you could set up even a comparison, uh, so you can compare all your players. Uh, obviously, uh, people have completely different preferences when I come to when it comes to skins. This one is designed very much with my needs in mind, um, but I feel like it adds substantial improvements to the screens that you see the most, which is what you're really looking for. Um, you'll see as you go through other screens, there's nothing too crazy going on in the way of changes. You know, it, it's mostly about sticking with what's good about the FM default skin and just trying to improve some of the screens that I feel like. Uh, are not necessarily neglected, but because of the lack of licensing across the board, Football Manager probably don't go as crazy as they could with them. I don't know if I've mentioned it already, but this skin is only officially supported by 1920 by 1080. I feel like that's kind of important to mention. I know some of you will be playing on laptops. There is no guarantees that everything will work if you are playing on a laptop or on a lower res monitor. Um, I am really sorry about that. Uh, the bottom line is Tom's put loads of work into getting it working at this resolution. You know, with Football Manager, scaling stuff down just doesn't work well. Panels start to get really, really messy, and it's just a monumental effort to try and update things. Anyway, as you can see, we've got the dark version of the skin here. This is Tom's version, which has a few more panels. As I said, my version is designed very much for YouTube with everything a little bit bigger. You may be looking at this right now going, it's a little bit hard to read. When you're playing in full screen, um, it's it's perfectly you know eligible to, to read. And I think across the board, it just looks really, really clean and you know particularly nice. Anyway, you can see here the dark skin, as I already mentioned. If we just go to the buyer page to take a look at that, it all looks very good. One page I didn't show, actually, is the home page, which has, obviously, a few minor amends across the board. The bit at the top is all centred. Um, but the long and short of it all is, basically, this screen just tidies up a lot of stuff. It's designed to make things, you know, a lot cleaner, a lot more presentable. And uh, it works really nicely, I think, with the existing logo packs and face packs that exist in the community, which it's been partnered up with to really give you a nice looking skin across the board. Anyway guys, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you've got any questions with regards to the skin, I'll try and answer them. If your skin isn't working for whatever install reasons, uh, there's loads of videos out on YouTube that show exactly how to install skins if you're having problems. I encourage you to check those out. As I said, this skin is not supported at all resolutions, only the kind of 1080 uh, by 1920 is officially supported. One bug just worth being aware of um, occasionally is that you might see stuff get cut out a little bit. If you notice anything like that, feel free to raise it. The chances are it won't be fixed unless it's something very major just because to get this into a state it's in now just takes a crazy amount of effort. But regardless, hopefully you guys do enjoy it and hopefully you are able to make use of the skin. I feel like, you know, a certain, you know, team... Uh, combinations it just looks absolutely superb um you know they're, they're having the shirt numbers on the back the eligibility as well and uh yeah there's a few different options to talk through and uh well choose from obviously there's the black skin there's my version of the skin which as i said is designed with everything just being a little bit bigger and uh well last but not least if we just load up here we have the aero version of the skin which is designed with custom backgrounds and you know just to be a little bit kind of cleaner and perhaps slightly more modern but regardless, I do hope you've enjoyed the video today, guys. If you have, please do leave a like on it. If you've got any comments, feedback on the skin, stuff you'd like to see change, it's unlikely to happen, but I'm open to the idea, and maybe Tom is too. Um, feel free to leave it down below. And other than that, it is me, Jack, and I will talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.